one ever knows that you're crying inside No one ever hears all the things that we hide You always try to cover everything with a grin So no one ever knows how you truly feel within Feeling that you're never enough Feeling that you're imagining love Feeling that you're second choice Feeling no one hears your voice Feeling that you're nothing without All the people who give you doubt That you can never live up to Toss the gullet out for you But you more You don't know what's in store It's a bumpy ride But you don't have to hide No one ever knows The ache in your heart And that you feel like you're falling apart You tell everyone that you're just in a mood So no one ever knows what you're really going through Feeling that you never know Feeling that you're imagining love Feeling that you're second choice Feeling no one hears your voice It's a bumpy ride, but you don't have to hide. You feel like you're being ignored, that everyone else is just getting bored. You try to tell them how you feel, but they just tell you it's not real. You try to cover up your hurt so no one knows where you've been burned. But when the sadness starts to poke through, they wonder what happened to you. Feeling that you never know, feeling that you're imagining love, feeling that you're second choice, feeling no one hears your voice, feeling that you're nothing without all the people who give you doubt, you can never live up to the task that God laid out for you. But you don't have to hide. Uh, my name is Natalie Wright. I'm 15 and I started playing ukulele like a year and a month ago, but I've been singing for a while. <laughs> yeah, and you were in choir at school? Mm -hmm. I did choir. I did varsity choir in seventh and eighth grade and then a pop group as well. Nice. Super cool. And are you in high school now? Yes. Nice. A freshman. I'm a sophomore. Oh, a sophomore. Cool. That's <laughs> awesome. Wow. Um, and what inspired you to pick up the ukulele? Um, it was actually a friend that I had named Riley Peck. She was in my choir in seventh grade. She's a year older than me, and um, she always played it, and I thought it was so cool. And then I eventually convinced my um, grandparents to buy me a ukulele, and I started playing as soon as I could. That's so cool. And you're, you're pretty much self-taught. I mean, you learned all those chords and yeah. started writing songs before you even had any sort of lessons. Yeah, my dad was like, she's never going to do it. Don't buy her one. And I started learning the night I got it, and I actually wrote, like, my first song the oh next day. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. That is so cool. Um, wow. Okay, so how many songs have you written total-ish? <laughs> With the ukulele, I've only written three, okay. and I only really like one of them, Okay. but I've written three. Um, so. Is the one you like the one you played today? Yes. Cool. Okay, so do you have a name for that song? Uh, feeling. I think Feeling is a good, a good name, yeah. You were unsure about it earlier, so <laughs> yeah. I guess it's official now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and what is, what is your, I guess, process when you write a song? Do you start with lyrics before you even pick up an instrument? Do you hear the melody in your head? Do you start with chords on the ukulele? Usually it's like 3 a.m. at night and I like just can't sleep and I start just randomly singing in my head and then I'm like, oh, that's good. And so I start writing it down. And then after I get most of the lyrics, I find music to go to it and find the melody to go to it. And then I just kind of put it all together and like 
usually I'll come up with the chorus and put music to it and then I'll come up with the verses and the music for it and then like just kind of there's no particular order just kind yeah. of all mixed together that's awesome but your lyrics are are um what you start with and that's the most Typically, kind of yes. important meaningful part too mm-hmm. so when you write lyrics you're writing about yourself and your experiences most of the time most of the time sometimes it's just randomly I just start singing when I'm just walking around mm-hmm. and I'm like whoa wait that sounded kind of cool yeah. and sometimes it's like I've been going through a rough time it was a hard day or it was a really good day mm-hmm. and I just wanted to write it down yeah Cool. Okay, so what is the song that you played, the song called Feeling? What is that about? So last year I had some friends, and then after Christmas break, um, I started getting really busy, and I started to not be able to hang out with them as much. Mm -hmm. And so they got into some things that I wasn't really into, and they started kind of ignoring me a little bit. Um, And so it got really hard sometimes and I felt really lonely a lot of times because I didn't have a lot of other friends because I was at a new school. And um, one day I was just really, really upset about it. And like everybody kept asking me how I, if I was okay. And I was like, I'm fine. I'm, you know, I'm just in a mood. It's fine. And then later that night I was like, oh wait, I'm really upset. And that's when I started writing it. Um, Because one of the parts in the song where I say, um, everybody tells you it's not real. That actually happened to me. I tried to tell a friend that I was feeling really left out and she told me that wasn't happening and that that really wasn't happening and it wasn't true. And so just a lot of things. Also trust your gut, right? And trust how you feel. And it was also just everything from before COVID because I got kind of depressed during COVID and Mm -hmm. I lost a lot. And so then coming into it, I made new friends and then they started leaving me again. And so it's just a build up process. Yeah. So when you write your lyrics, is it like journaling for you? Like, is, does it help release your emotions? And Kind of. Specifically with this song, I really mm-hmm. felt like it made me feel a lot better. Like the next day I was like, well, I feel great now. Like yeah. I feel fine. And then I started playing it and putting it to music and I started actually liking it. And so It's an amazing song. And you're, I love you. your chord choices too. <laughs> you did this D into a D minor, I think going into the bridge. And that's, I love, I love major to minor <laughs> changes. So really beautiful. Um, what, what else would you like to say about like songwriting in general, your experience, if you recommend other people give it I a go? Is like it scary? Is it hard? It, I, I wouldn't say it's scary because you kind of, it's a lot of freedom. You kind of just get to write whatever you want, whatever you feel. And if you never want to show anybody, you don't have to do that. Um, it's very, it's kind of like journaling for me, mm-hmm. at least. Um, I like to kind of express what I'm feeling. Um, and sometimes it'll turn out really good. Sometimes it won't. But, you know, you learn from your mistakes. And it's really fun. And I feel like it doesn't hurt to ever try it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can always try and decide you hate it, or you can try and decide you love it. Yeah. yeah. That's so true. But I enjoy it at least a lot. Um, a lot of times I don't like what I write, but when I do, it's really fun, and you feel really proud of it. Yeah. And and what I was going to say earlier is um, when I listened to your lyrics when you were singing it earlier, I could totally relate it to a certain thing in my life, but it has nothing to do with what you went through. Mm-hmm. And I think that's really cool that we can all share the feeling and the emotion and what you're talking about but in a completely different way yeah I feel like it's it's in writing a lot too where different people interpret things in different ways and I like being able to write music and let other people see it and interpret it however they feel and like I don't know maybe it could end up helping them um through something and that just I feel like there's a lot of power to that yeah Uh, there's a lot of power in music yes agreed can I ask a question yeah so going back to the the when you went home and you started writing, um, when you said that you felt actually angry, did you feel did you realize that as you were writing, or did you tap into writing because you felt angry? For me, it was I kind of tapped into it because I felt angry and hurt and upset, mm-hmm. and so um, like everything in the chorus, those are all feelings that I was feeling, and so it just kind of once I started writing, it was like the words just kind of started like flowing like I think I was laying in bed and I started like humming it and kind of like singing random words and I was like hold on and so I got up and I like turned on my light and this I started really very little quietly little. writing so my parents couldn't hear and wake up oh my gosh but that's really cool that's amazing wow that's awesome um oh do you have any 
desire or plans to ever record one of your songs like in a studio or is this something that you just like to do for yourself and you don't necessarily want to pursue it? For me, it's kind of, as of right now at least, it's kind of something that I enjoy doing on my own. Um, I would, if I ever put, like made something that I could see myself putting out there, I definitely would probably pursue it. But for right now, it's kind of more of just a hobby. I just enjoy doing it and um, letting other people hear it. And I feel like part of it's also confidence. I have to get more confidence in yeah. myself to put it out there too, yeah. so. Yeah, well, it's amazing. And you're an amazing songwriter, so I hope you keep doing it. And and eventually you might have enough songs to make an album, you know? Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. It's so cool not knowing what's about to happen. Mm -hmm. Like you could write the most amazing song again tomorrow and you have no idea. You can't even do it when you walk out of here. I know. <laughs> I'm so inspired. Right? <laughs> cool. Okay. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, if you ever feel like you want to try songwriting, just try it. See where it goes. Yeah. Don't hold back. Uh, put your heart into it. Yeah. It's a lot more fun than it seems, and it's really rewarding when it turns out good. Yeah. That's amazing advice. Wow. Thank you. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much.